Hey guys, Harrison 101 back at it once again with a brand new video for you. Two in a day, who would have thought it? And uh, it's time for our Indian Grand Prix race review. Unfortunately, once again, not too much to report from this one. I know people are going to immediately correlate this with Sebastian Vettel's fourth straight win, because it is. But Red Bull are just that good right now, unfortunately, and that's just the problem that they've got right now. It's a shame, but, uh, you know, as, as a casual fan, you kind of think, hey, you wish things were a little bit more exciting, but at the same time, you kind of have a check the feeling of, this, you know, we've, we've been spoilt for choice when it comes to great races and competitive action this year, so, you know, the natural order is, is you know, is starting to become a bit restored. Sebastian Vettel was just the fastest lap shy of another Grand Slam, but, I mean, he's, he's dominated every session here. You know, quality pole. You know, so yeah, I mean, a pole um, led every single lap with the race win. Only Jensen Button rolled him with the fastest lap to get another Grand Slam. But um, he was the dominant guy again. Nobody could touch him. Well, when when the chips were down, and he's now led every single racing lap since Lewis Hamilton's retirement back in Singapore. He's the first man to lead every lap of a race for three straight races since Ayrton Senna back in 1989. Incredible run of form for Sebastian Vettel. He is bulletproof right now. The only small chink in his armor, he's only got one engine left to last him the rest of the season. That could be interesting. That's all I'll say. Rest of the running order, Fernando Alonso is second place. He overtook Mark Webber after Webber struggled on the harder of the two compounds and lost his curse for the last, I think, 15 or so laps of the race. Um, he was getting chased down hard by fourth place man Lewis Hamilton who was going really really hard um, To try and get that last podium spot couldn't quite get it in the end uh, Maybe if he had another couple of laps Hamilton may have done it I think he may have pushed a little bit too hard trying to get him and made a couple of mistakes which just 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 put him out of reach Jensen Button with the fastest lap of the race. He came in fifth a, a solid quiet drive for Jensen nothing special from him Felipe Massa in sixth, another solid drive for the number two man at Ferrari. He had Kimi Raikkonen behind him pretty much the entire Grand Prix. Uh, not much he could do about it. I love, uh, by the way, that the Lotus F1 team called Felipe Massa a bitch on Twitter because because of his fuel load situation. Massa literally parked the car as soon as he crossed the line because he was literally on fumes. When it came to petrol. Nico Hülkenberg with another point to finish for Force India in 8th. Romain Grosjean who started on the hard tyres. Ended up with 2 points for a solid ninth place. And in 10th getting the last of the point finishes. Bruno Senna for the Williams team. Rosberg 11th. The rest are 12th. Daniel Ricciardo 13th. Kamui Kobayashi 14th. John Eric Verne 15th. Pastor Maldonado suffered a puncher. Um, but came back to finish in 16th place. Petrov, Kovalainen, and Pick, Glock, and Carter Kayan were the 21 finishers. The three retirements, Michael Schumacher, I think his eighth retirement of the season now. He has a 50% retirement rate in races this season. That's just sad, really. The great man's comeback is um, under some serious threat. Let's just say that. It's, it's, it's sad, actually. Um... Pedro de la Rosa, who had a brake failure, and Sergio Perez, who suffered a puncture um, early on and had to retire as a result of damage. And that is pretty much it for the Indian Grand Prix. Just, just uh, taking a look at the uh, driver standings. Sebastian Vettel now has 240 points, leading the World Championship by 13 points over Fernando Alonso. Kimi Raikkonen now 67 points back on... Um, 163, so, 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 sorry, 173, my apologies, 67 back, uh, another 6 back, now 73, Mark Webber, who's literally just in the title race by the skin of his teeth, um, Lewis Hamilton is officially out, I know, he's, I know he's 75 back, so technically he could tie, but um, on count back he would lose, so uh, Lewis Hamilton is pretty much out of the race as well, Jensen Button on 141, and there's a few to get back to everybody else. Red Bull, I believe, concealed the constructors with a solid result next week in Abu Dhabi. So let me know what you guys thought of the Indian Grand Prix. Anything else that you guys want to talk about and to do with the race as well. Um, let me know below. Until next time, I've been Harris. I want to thank you very much for watching. And sayonara.